Hello and welcome to another Enzo VN Gaming video. And I'm actually recording the audio after I've already done the pause, since I'm an idiot and I had my mic muted when I actually recorded it the first time. So we're gonna have to do this a second time, which is gonna be really weird because I don't know what the timings is of everything I'm saying. I think I'm talking about Capone, the new legend. That is, um, he's a 3.75 times shooter legend, so finally shooters are good again. Which they actually haven't been like really good, even when like Boa and Ace got their 6 plus. They've never, I don't think, been like top tier. And oh my god, there's a mouse on the screen. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, yeah, they're, they're like they're pretty good now, but uh, still not got like a times four attack booster. But they do have obviously him now, who's a 3.75 times one. Also has a cool like Frankie effect where you can transform into what's it called, like Big Father or something, <laughs> where you become like a you lose like 85% 80, of your HP, but it turns into like a barrier, and you stay as the big castle while you have that barrier alive, which is pretty cool. Also, he boosts the attack of shooters by times two, which makes Ace kind of like redundant. But like, there's a lot of content obviously where you have to beat a lot of mini bosses, so having like two times two attack boosters obviously isn't bad. And if you're using double Capone, then I guess you have three. Here, I pulled Chiffon, uh, his wife, who does some stuff. No, I'm gonna have to look up again. <laughs> I think she. Oh, she's like um. If you have like a defense buff up, like a defense reducer or damage threshold or a resilience buff, you fully heal all your missing health. Which is pretty cool. I think that's also obviously really a point with his um, uh, special, obviously, because like you'll reduce your HP by 85% and pull up a barrier. So like you'll get the barrier as well as healing back all your HP, which is really cool. Nice little combo here. I got Cracker. Uh, what does Cracker do? Uh, cracker is the right one. Yeah. Uh, if your captain is strength, oh, is this the right one? Yeah, if your captain is strength, Dex or it's quick. Uh, Boosts the attack by 1.75 times. Oh, he was like a kind of like mini Lucy. Also amplifies the effect of all by 1.75 times. Yeah, just a really solid unit, I guess. I don't think I got anything else good in this multi. Or did I? Am I trying to trick you? I think, yeah, there was like. <laughs> it started off pretty well with like two new units and then everything else was like a dupe. And then I got a secret legend that night. I got Bruel. Who, uh. It's kind of like a super sabo, right? Raid sabo, where you get like five turns of extra additional type, uh, typeless damage on your attacks. So pretty good. Also, I think she changes her orb, uh, like orbs into her own orb. It's kind of a weird effect, but it's pretty good. Obviously, for that sweet uh, five turns of additional attack, which means you pretty much, if you, if there's like three mini bosses, like a lot of the new coliseums, it, it can last across like all three of them if you're gonna somehow burst, like every turn. Alright, on to the second multi. First multi was pretty nice because it was gold only, which, you know, is standard now on global. And it's still crazy to think that, like, Japan still has, like, silvers when you pull, which is, like, hyper depressing. Which is, like, I guess I was, like, should probably save on Japan still as well, but, like, it's crazy. And we still get silvers in silver. Uh, Alright, yep, Mr. Prince. Fucking garbage. Chopper. Even the golds are fake. Iceberg. Genzo, just all, all the guys are here. It's like uh, it's like Smash Bros. Everyone's here. Uh, I got a new unit here. I think his name's Vito. I don't think he was that good. Uh, yeah, it's Vito. Cuts HP by twenty percent. Changes top row to magic orbs. Reduces enemies' fre threshold and increased defense for three turns. And you have six shooters reduced damage by nine percent, which is obviously fine. <laughs> like there's already a free to play um, shooter that reduces damage by 90% in uh, Perona, so it's not that special. Uh, freaking carrot and pepper and onion. Those freaking goons. Raju, uh, what's this guy's name? Oh, the white beard crew, I want to say. Looks, his head looks like a melon. Someone useless, anyway. Still no legends, pretty sad. And it is the other new guy from uh, Capone's crew. Why is this not cleared? Uh, his name is Goatee. Obviously, you know, reference to that gangster dude. Uh, reduces all, any damage above 5,000 5, HP by a lot before, for three turns. Randomize all orbs into colored orbs. And you have, if you have, if the enemy has a barrier, all colored orbs count as matching for shooter for three turns. Pretty nice effect. Uh, if you have uh, Legend Bower, then it's not as good. Since her effect's pretty much the same thing. 
Now onto the final multi where I actually should get, you know, guaranteed at least one legend, which is nice. Uh, but once again, it's not gold only. Oh my god, it's like, what was it? Ended on like five silvers in a row. Usopp. At least he's not a fake gold. Ryzo again. Uh, Tanaka. Part of the Tesoro crew. I can't remember, what he, he does the same thing as Sabo again, but like only for one turn, so he's not good. Also, it does like damage through barriers for only four times his attack though, so he's not great. Also reduces uh, attack up, defense, and then rage for three turns. Those effects aren't that like annoying anyway. Like attack up is pretty meh for them. Usually like tank the damage anyway. And increased defense, so there's like a million guys that deal with it, so he's nothing special. Not even evolve, I've got always like evolvers and stuff on him. That guy used to be pretty good, I can't remember his name now though. Perona, Zoro. Zoro, you can't even give me like units that give me ratio shot points, it's just sad. You suck. <laughs> Jeez. I guess I can socket some of my straw hats, but I probably won't. Uh, yeah, probably that's like the best use for him. I forgot that I ended on like 5 silvers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But now, the light at the end of the rainbow, the guaranteed legend. Was it worth the 150 gems? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Freaking dupe, Jinbei. Not even a good dupe. Not that it matters like at all, but still. And then here I try and like remember which one is gate, get date, and I, I don't succeed. I honestly do not know which one it is. And also the box on Japan makes it worse as well. Maybe they, I don't even know, I should check if they've implemented the thing on Global where you can choose to have it like this, or just the old way. I don't even know what this one is, this is just all the evolvers for some reason. I just gave up and just started looking at through favourites again. Which, yeah, is actually still depressing to look at it this way. You see, um, yeah, look at these garbage, double rare, uh, double dupe Rizo there. The only strength guys I got, uh, dupe TS Robin. I got Vito there, I guess, which is, I guess, okay. This is a new unit. There's Goatee, and no one else, I don't think, there. There's new. So there's like two new rare recruits. Uh, one there with Bruel. And here, I think I got. Oh, I got Chiffon as well, so there's like five new rare recruits out of like 33 units. <laughs> Mostly because, like, so many of my pawns are silvers there. I probably will, uh, like, avoid it on Japan again now. I actually have to wait for gold on these on Japan as well. So sad. Overall, this this Suga Fest was uh, pretty bad. Well, that's it for this video. Post in the comments down below uh, what you got in your pools. Hopefully, you got something better than me. Join the Discord if you like. If you're feeling generous, you can donate to the PayPal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. My Nakama.